Hey, what's goody, what's goody, what's goody, y'all? It's your girl, Jamika, back with another YouTube video. Thank you so much for tuning in to watch this video with me. Please make sure that you like, share, comment, subscribe, and smash that notification button down below so you can be one of the first people to check out my videos as soon as I upload them because I know that y'all love the juice and you know that I stay having the juice. So like I always tell y'all beautiful people, go ahead and pass me your cups so I can fill you up, okay? Now let's go ahead and get right into this video. Lego. Now this video and topic is going to be very serious. We're going to be discussing suicide and depression. Before we get um, any further in the video, let's first discuss what depression is. Depression, which is a major depressive disorder, is a common and serious medical illness that negatively affects how you feel, the way you think, and how you act. Fortunately, it is also treatable. Depression causes feelings of sadness and or loss of interest in activities that you once enjoyed. It can lead to a variety of emotional and physical problems and can de decrease a person's ability to function at work and home. Now, for those of you who don't know, recently uh, Miss Kate Spade, which was an American um, fashion designer and businesswoman, she recently took her own life by committing suicide and hanging herself a couple of days ago on June 5th, 2018. She was the wife of Andy Spade, which was actually the brother of very famous actor and comedian uh, David Spade. And I just want to bring some awareness to this subject. Before we do go on with this video, I know that some people out there may think that they're alone, um, whether it's physically, emotionally, mentally, financially, they feel like nobody uh, understands or can ever understand or even tries to understand, but I just want you to know that you're definitely not alone and um, you know, feel free to, to call this National Suicide Prevention Lifeline number at 1-800-273-8255. Um, this line is open 24 hours every day, seven days a week, and it is free of no charge. If you just want to talk to somebody and vent to someone, um, the call will be completely private and confidential. And I don't know if you guys know, but Mr. Um, Anthony Bourdain, who was an American celebrity chef and travel documentarian, he actually committed suicide today as of June 8th, 2018 as well. Now there are a lot of um, other celebrities who have taken their own lives, unfortunately, you know, through suicide um, because of depression. And one that really touches my heart um, dearly is Robin Williams. Um, he always made people laugh, um, whether he was in interviews, um, in movies. He was just a funny person with the greatest inspirational quotes. And um, I, it was such a shocker and surprise to know that he committed suicide. But he actually was battling with a lot of health issues, including uh, mental illness such as depression for the majority of his life. So it just goes to show you somebody can be completely funny on the outside, but you never know what they're going through internally. It kind of reminds me of that quote that says, sometimes I want someone to ask me if I'm okay, and they never do because I'm always smiling and playful. I don't act sad because I don't want it to look like I'm asking for attention. Man, that's sad. And to everybody watching this video right now, I just want to let you guys know that it's okay to ask um, other people, especially ones that you love, maybe even strangers or friends or people that you're not the closest to, are you okay? You know, like this quote says, the truth is none of us really know how much someone else is hurting. We could be standing right beside someone who is completely broken and have no idea. So be kind always and always ask, are you okay? And it's okay to be persistent and continuously ask someone more than two or three times if they're okay or if they want to talk because you might feel like you're being a little bit annoying, but you never know. You just might save a life by being willing to listen and just asking somebody over and over if they're okay. 
Like this quote says, I sometimes wish someone would persist and ask me if I'm okay. I always say I'm fine the first two times, but after that I want to open up, but nobody actually asked me. I feel they just asked once, just to say they asked. So the first two times or a couple of times someone may say that yeah they're okay, that they're fine. Keep asking a couple more times or say, do you really mean it? Are you sure? Just be persistent. You just might really save a life by being just persistent and continuously asking. And I wanted to tell everybody this individually that needs to hear it. I'm really sorry to hear your day sucked. If you had a bad day today, I'm really sorry. Um, I'm not sure if tomorrow will be better for you, even though I hope it will be, but it'll be a reset, a brand new start. You'll find the courage you need to do to do that thing you wanted to do. You're perfectly okay. You're doing just fine, more than just fine even. There's nothing wrong with you. Take care of yourself tonight. It'll be okay, I promise. Hang in there, it will be okay. Just a reminder in case your mind is playing tricks on you today, you matter, you're important, you're loved, and your presence on this earth makes a difference whether you see it or not, it truly does. You are enough, you have influence, you are a genius, you have a contribution to make, you have a gift that others need, you are the change. You, your actions define your impact and you matter. You really do matter more than you know. Be strong because things will get better. It may be stormy now, but it never rains forever. The moment when you want to quit is the moment when you need to keep pushing, keep going, don't stop, don't quit. Whenever you find yourself doubting how far you can go, just remember how far you have come. Remember everything you have faced, all the battles you have won, and all the fears you have overcome. And yes, we deal with things every day that's a battle, but it doesn't mean that we can't overcome them one day at a time. Hang in there, keep going, keep winning. And yes, some won't appreciate you no matter how much you do for them, but release yourself. Go where you're appreciated and understood. And yes, some people are going to love you no matter what you do. And some people, well, they'll never love you no matter what you do. But go where the love is. Find comfort and solitude where the love is. God didn't promise days without pain or laughter without sorrow, nor sun without rain, but he did promise strength for the day, comfort, for the tears and light for the way, okay? Now for anybody who's battling uh, depression or suicidal thoughts or maybe even a mental illness that is uncontrollable such as bipolar disorder, um, schizophrenia, or maybe even autism in any form or way, um, or maybe even just having financial issues or just struggling with loving yourself, you don't like the way that you look, your appearance, um, you just don't love yourself enough. Feeling lonely, very alone in this world where you feel like uh, friends and family just don't understand you or that they don't even try to. Or maybe you feel like you don't even have a lot of friends or family at all. Um, I would really suggest to go to this JW.org website to find the answers to life's problems or to your individual problem. And not only to find those answers, but more importantly, to find comfort from God um, for those issues and also to find the answers to the promises that God promises us for the future. So go to JW.org and really get the answers to life's problems as well as the comfort that you need for your own individual problems. For depression or suicidal thoughts, they have nice awakes and magazines such as Go On Living because there is hope, because there is help, and because things change, you know, they get better. It provides you with scriptures and examples of people that go through exactly what you do and how they overcome it. There are a lot of other topics as well that you might enjoy reading, such as what is God's purpose for mankind, Jehovah's purpose will be fulfilled, what is the purpose of Christ's return, um, how can you have a happy life, why did God provide the Torah, 
what was God's original purpose for mankind? Um, what is God's purpose for the earth? You know, what does the Bible say about earth? You know, why are we here? What's our purpose? Um, is there an end to all problems? You know, just several topics that you might enjoy. Even how can you have a happy life as well as good health that is to come soon. Yeah, so I would definitely advise going to the JW.org website to read those um, topics. Um, yeah, if you don't feel like going to the website, you can just pause the video as I scroll, you know, through um, some of the article about, you know, go on living, you know. Um, yeah, just go ahead and stop the video, pause it, read it as you go you know push play when you're ready to continue um yeah i just hope that this touches your heart and it helps you in your life with the daily struggles um and trials and tribulations that you face every single day it's not easy but i want you to know that you're not alone okay i'm here for you um god is here for you jehovah god's here for you you know if you do have positive family and friends um, who care about you enough to ask you if you're okay and you know that they're coming from a good place, you know, um, please don't be afraid to just admit to not being okay. It's okay not to be okay, but it's not okay to get up, give up on yourself or to give up on anyone else that you know could possibly be giving up on themselves. Always try to listen to others just like you would want anybody to listen to you. Okay, you never know if you could be saving a life just by being willing to listen and just by asking if someone's okay. Okay, anyways, y'all, just remember that you matter and that it will get better and that you're not alone. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video with me. Please make sure that you like, share, comment, subscribe, and smash that notification button down below so you can be one of the first people to check out my videos as soon as I upload them because I know that y'all love the juice and you know that I stay having the juice. So like I always tell y'all beautiful, beautiful people, pass me your cups so I can fill you up, okay? And until next time, be good to yourself and be good to other people as well. Peace. Bye. Ain't no rushing, it's just us and we.